Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you guys something I made, um, it's a fake OS, um, so um, let's get into it, so we got the project OS, which is the launcher, we have the framework and we have file system, I'm thinking about adding the um, file system into the framework later, because there is no use to having these um, split up. Um, then we have the file system. Um, so I made a different file system for the operating system. Um, I will show you do that. Show you that in a second. Then we have the configuration maker. Um, let's run it. It's a um, application that allows you to make your own programs for it for the operating system a temporary folder it makes files in there like sometimes and the license for the icons are used in the applications and, and stuff um, here are all the applications I will show you in a bit um, this is empty because I will show you guys um, how to make a application so we have like the application manager um, an application install manager the file explorer notepad picture viewer and then a testing app this is just for testing code out so to see if it works in um, the applications oh. okay um, now let's launch it Okay, it's loading. I'm going to stretch it out a bit so it's easier because then all the applications will not be clumped up, um, clumped up or something like that. <laughs> so, um, as you can see, wait a second, I'm going to put it like this. Okay, so as you can see, we have. Um, all the applications that were in the in this folder so um, I would say let's start with the um, just the file explorer because that's um, the one I worked the most on so here's a file explorer with the um, file system I made as you can see it has root instead of um, C drive or whatever drive I'm using um, then we have libraries in here we have documents, music and videos or you can go here Oops. ok no, I did not ask that Okay, so in the documents I have like some test files to see if it works. No music files yet because I need to write a decoder for music files and video files and stuff. So here we have the um, three pictures. Um, so let's see first. Yes, I'm going to go to the pictures. Let's see what we have got. We what we got here. We have open, open width, um, a list of all the applications installed at the moment. I'm going to show you um, installed apps manager. Um, here it is. Yeah, I need to work on that one. Um, so these are all the applications that are installed at the moment. That's why you saw when the, the loading screen came up. Um, starting installed programs that are all the programs here I will later make it so the applications will go into the file system so you can run them from so um, these folders are not needed anymore and all of this will be in the file system but it's pretty hard to do I almost got it working but um, there are some things I won't load yet like I can get make an application 
to run but not to get into here because it can't find the framework so that's pretty um, hard to do at the moment so let's get back we have um, open widths copy cut paste and the cut command is not working yet because um, if he copies it well if he cuts it he deletes it from here but then the in the, in the memory it will be also deleted so I have to work on that one a bit paste works we have new folder and new file need to work on these two also because if you add a new file I think it was it adds two files and two folders but if you refresh it's gone so um, rename works delete works and properties is like um, the type of file it shows you and also what default application it has selected to open with the location and the full size you can also go like properties then you will see 1 megabyte 120 kilobytes uh, um, so let's now oh wait let's show the pictures here um, open with you can open it with notepad like but nothing much in here um, open with picture viewer of course um, let's set it to zoom okay um, I did not do um, much about the picture viewer yet only the details here um, a button to go to the previous picture but as you can see I selected the first picture so there's no picture before it we got this one let's see the tile mm, okay and then we have this one okay that was it for the picture viewer if you um, also notice the app bar closes all the applications when gone and so if you open the picture viewer normally you notice it doesn't say anymore like picture viewer dash the file name and it says the given image was invalid so he knows when there's pictures in there so now let's go to the tests um, open with oh so as you can see it does not open when you double click because there's no f um, default application installed that can handle .c sharp files but there is a one installed so let's see in the properties to so say no programs installed um, wait a second um, so guys I had to turn this off um, they were asking if I would come into the stream for a second but I was listening to the stream while I was making this so I heard they were calling my name to ask if I would join um, okay so where was I so we did the properties um, no programs installed but if we go to the one with the .text file you see it says no pet because that's one um, because there's no default editor for C sharp files so if we double click here it will open um, the notepad as you can see notepad new dash new text file dot txt um, some stuff I wrote here you can see there is this notepad the install of program manager and the file explorer all these files are open let's see if that's true let's go to the application manager which is like um, a task manager so let's make it a little bit bigger as you can see we have system um, you can't close the system one no way you can do that um, we have the operating system which is the 
process running the main the system there's like a internal um, yeah that that handles all the request likes um, like to show a dialog in MDI I had to I had to make a process system to handle that um, the file explorer that's pretty obvious which one is that you also see there is like this app bar host file explorer that's um, the this one so it makes a host for every um, every open application in the taskbar as you can see there are four which is true then we have the four applications um, as you can see there is no version at the taskbar so mostly if you see there is no version then it would, uh, would not um, show but you would not be able to close it so let's see if we can close like for example the installed apps manager let's do previous size to show it again now let's see if we can terminate it and yes it's gone also notice it's gone here okay so I need to work on this one to make like start new process or something I don't know what I'm going to do with that um, I see the time is like um, 11 minutes so I have to start getting into the coding so let's go to the um, open with no bad and you can see it says the, uh, the same thing safe works exit works but open does not yet work also did not add the save as these all work and these does not work because I have to write uh, rewrite each dialog as they can't show up well as they do not use my file system and as you can't show dialogs in MDI um, application so I have to rewrite it um, let's see this is a rename dialog I'm call it um, new test dot C sharp okay as you can see renamed it all good let's go back to libraries okay videos okay let's see if we reopen the file explorer if it's the changes are still there new test these are still there okay so okay I'm going to close it so we can make